Okay, Internet, you have enraged the bit. <laughs> you must now <laughs> suffer the wrath. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this comes out because I'm sick of the people who wear Apple glasses, the analysts and pundits, that everything must be simple like Apple, or this like Apple, or that it's impossible to have a tablet that is $199 and comparable to the iPad and still make a profit. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. The, 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 my argument totally is this. Yes, you can make... The, Amazon is making profit for Kindle Fire. The profits are not down because of the Kindle Fire. And I hope analysts watch this or whatever. They're, just, they're full of it. It's the, Amazon is making... They're not making a lot, but they are making profit. Per Kindle Fire, sold. I, 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 actually, I would argue they're making a killing because they've created... A tie into their most profitable thing, their Amazon. Well, not only that, but I'll explain what went on, why their profits drop. The, but the thing of it is, is that I've got connections within channels of hardware suppliers, especially on volume, and these things are, are, are cheap. And, let, and, and the thing about Apple and profit is, Apple is enjoying large profits because people don't mind being taken to the cleaners. A profit is essentially above and beyond the cost of something and if, and, if, and if someone wants to go ahead and pay an absurdity of it because they it's part of a cool trend or whatever then that's their that's their deal you know it may it may be a business device for them and, it, and then therefore it's, uh, it goes from a, a fashionable thing to legitimate thing nonetheless a Apple will not forever hold such large uh, profit margins and the thing of it is, is how do they, how do they come down? That's why the Apple Glasses analysts don't like this paradigm where Amazon has introduced a significantly cheaper tablet because Apple won't be able to come down. As soon as they come down, that's going to change all of the investors' perspective of Apple from there on out. And then everybody's going to then uh, falsely really jump on Apple in a bad way. Oh, now because they're acquiescing, and, and, and then their profits will drop. Well, they can maintain. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I am honestly expecting sometime in the next in the next three to five years that when that bubble pops, like you're saying, all the analysts, everybody will jump on Apple, and Apple stock will just do this that day. Yeah, but see, I think they'll falsely do because look, <laughs> just come down. Their profit margin shouldn't be as high. For now, people are willing to pay it, but I want people to understand you're paying above and beyond the I mean, that profit margin is, is, is if we're doing it in, in, in percents, is much higher than what you're willing to pay for to get that iPad, what have you. And that's not going to last all the time. And their, 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 their margins will drop, and then people are going to, I, then I will then say, look, don't all jump on the bandwagon and crush Apple. Look, this is normalization of the price, which should come down. The iPad price should come down. And and that's a good thing. Then, it, then it, it, it's the effect of, Allowing more people to enjoy the product at a more reasonable price, and the Apple can still make a profit, not as much, but it still makes a profit. And you know, it's kind of different from the iPhone because the iPhone experiences, in the OS at least, a artificial uh, advantage via the carriers that we discussed in the last show. But at least for tablets, it's concerned. I like that normalization. The iPad should come down in price. Apple is their cost on that is, is very low. They're making a killing. That's why they have 97 billion in the bank because it, it costs them almost nothing to make, and they sell it for. Uh, you, you know, I can make a political comment here, but I'm not going to. Yeah, uh, I, I can't count how how many people who are saying a certain message against evil corporations and profiteering, and I see Apple I, products. All, all, all 99 percent love Apple, and yet they're paying these extraordinary profit <laughs> margins. To where the competition is lowering and willing to to take away from that profit margin to sell your product. I, 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 I just see that as a complete. Wait a minute. So, profit bad. You buy most profit driven. I confuse. <laughs> oh yeah, for the ninety nine percent. So, like I said, I could make a political statement, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, so, the, the, what, what did happen to Amazon? Number one, what, uh, there's a few articles that finally got it right. 
Amazon has been heavily investing in infrastructure and, and changing the logistics around. Three potent things have hurt their profit. One, I just said it, they're upgrading all their infrastructure, getting in, in what have they done recently? Digital content, instant movies, and things like that. They're doing what I call the Netflix maneuver. Netflix thought they could attack. Is that, is that anything like the Picard maneuver? I'm just wondering. <laughs> you know, like, really. the, the, the Netflix thought they could enjoy, it really attach a service to their mailing DVD service and not have to worry about increased uh, operational costs. But it, they realized it. And go, wow, we have to increase our, our business model. And that you know, causes snafu. Well, now Netflix is back on track. Amazon Prime, that's a great service. I'm a member of it. And you get instant. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Okay. I heard you get instant. There it goes. Oh, wait, where did we cut off? I, I, the last thing I heard was Amazon is a great service and you get instant and then it went da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh instant uh, in, oh Amazon yeah you get instant video uh, attached to a shipping plane which is very much like damn it, is it am I stalling you again or something you're on you're just it's getting in a minute oh now you're off what the frick something happened now your video <laughs> cut out hey. We're experiencing technical difficulties and bandwidth problems. Please stand by. <laughs> your video's gone. I can hear you, but your video's gone. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I don't know what happened. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, what I'm saying is that you get, you get this instant video attached to a mailing plane, like a shipping plane. Which is what I call the Netflix maneuver. They're attaching something that's probably going to cost them more, which they've already invested in heavily, uh, operationally, and attaching it to something w which is really like this all in one. You get shipping services plus Kindle book stuff plus free stuff plus instant video, all wrapped up into the seventy-nine dollar a year package. Uh, that's that, I think they're going to have to work that out. Now, what did they do? Because see, they've been they've their the uh, the uh, DVD and, and content has been going up. Listen, like sales of books and DVDs rose fourteen eight percent to six billion, right? But uh, they are saying Amazon's stock has dropped twelve point six percent in the last six months. See, the Kindle Fire is not six months old. The profit has been going down well before the Kindle Fire came out because of the like I said, the infrastructure there they were investing in. Now, uh, to, to compound that, Amazon gave away with each Kindle Fire th a free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime. That was in, what, November? So that means everybody gets the Kindle Fire and plus free shipping and no, no, there's no $79 transaction. That means for a holiday season, which people are, this year, internet sales was way up, how much how much eating did Amazon have to do on all that free shipping that they haven't been reimbursed for? And I would like to know, on the next quarter, did all of those free Amazon Prime subscribers just use the free month and then not renew it to pay the $79? Or did they renew it? And if they did renew it, then we should see some of that cash come back in. I don't now, think they all renewed it. I, I, th I would say a percentage might have. Just to yeah, but that's, that's going to affect their direct numbers. All the holiday sales, essentially, from these six million Kindles. Good lord, that's a lot of Amazon Prime shipping. Well, and, and you know what? Honestly, the, the the model I apply to the Amazon Kindle and Kindle Fire thing is huh? not the slate market because because Amazon is in a very unique position. They're in, they're the other person in an Apple-like position, where for all intents and purposes, this is their console. This is their... It, they could give this thing away and make the money back in spades in 18 months. They, they, could, well, liter they could literally give them away. They're not I, I, going to, but they no, could. Yeah, that would be, that'd be crazy, because you don't really make a whole lot of money just on 
CDs and DVDs. So that's a, that's a piecemeal market. No, you know? no, but they are primed as the other primary powerhouse for content distribution. Sure, but you know, people can go elsewhere. I'm just saying they're not selling the Kindle Fire at a loss. That people want to see that, that is a bias that people come in that are wearing Apple glasses because either one, they're an iPad owner and they don't want to believe that they've been suckered into buying something. <laughs> Price. You mean I paid five hundred, eight hundred dollars for something I could have got for two hundred? No, 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 no. It's that's like signs of the original iPhone that came out that everybody bitched at that they had to lower the price. And I and I warned people. I I owned three iPhones, but I waited till the price drop, and I started laughing at people buying them and stuff. Like the you you know what? what? The, when it comes, when it comes, three grand, and I was like, dude. Yeah. No, when it comes to getting screwed by Apple, there's one product I laugh at every single person who bought it, and that is the first run of the Airs. Oh yeah, MacBook Air. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, it's just I, I I mean it was it was joke specs, thousands of dollars, and the very next revision. Oh well, now it's actually i series processors, actually good specs. Oh, and it's half the price. It's like it's like. <laughs> I guess they can enjoy this on a large part, right? A lot of consumers, they are the cool thing for them. And, I, and, and, and people can take that any way they want, but it is a large, a larger chunk is that they're the cool brand. And that's when you're cool, people pay all that, all that money. They don't mind essentially being ripped off, in my opinion. Um, just like the iPhone, the MacBook Air, and all that other stuff that, you know, there's people, they have to eat it. And a lot of people don't want to even admit it. That's why I didn't really buy an iPad. I could not justify $499 for that damn thing. But, you know, it was a bottom line. I thought it was a cool thing. I have YouTube videos saying how cool it is and this. But, you know, when I sat there and I just like, they want $500 for this thing? But, you, 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 you know, I can at least understand the people who bought one. I, I, I think they were being a little foolish, but I can understand mine one. What I don't understand is the Apple fanatics who went out there and bought the Wi-Fi only one, knowing 30 days later the 3G one was going to come out, and then 30 days later bought the 3G one, and it was like, I mean, for a moment, these people basically bought two to four iPads because they couldn't wait six weeks, and I'm, and I'm like, what the hell is the matter with you? Look, I just could not justify what the iPad... I still don't think it's worth $500. I think it's a total... My honest opinion of it is it's a rip-off at that price. I, I will not pay $500 for, for an iPad. Nowhere near it. I mean, maybe, maybe around two... Uh, honestly, to be perfectly well, frank... I, 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 no, and here's the thing. I, I, I think... I think between two and three hundred dollars is a fair price for these things. However, I think for them to really become the mass use device, given uh, unless they become truly multifunction productivity, you know, true desktop replacement devices, until that happens, honestly, I think where the price needs to be heading on all of them, including the Apple ones, is between a hundred and two hundred bucks. Because Wait, what? you just said two hundred and three hundred, but what did you I, I, I said I believe between two and three hundred is fair, but as long as they're largely appliance single use devices like oh, they are, oh. the, if if that's what they're gonna stay, the price needs to be heading down to between a hundred and two hundred bucks. Because okay, okay. I mean the reality I'm a business though, and I've seen some legitimate use of the iPad. Not much. Um, but I've seen some legitimate use. But see like for instance, take American Airlines and said they're going to use all iPads for their for their flight manuals. I would look at the person and say, why are you going to pay five hundred dollars for for something that just you want to store books on when there are tablets that'll do it just as well? You don't need a dual core GPU and accelerated. Yeah, it, 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 no, that 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 wouldn't well, be the question I would ask them. My question to that is, and how much is that going to increase the cost of my American Airlines ticket? Okay, that was an absurd maneuver. I mean. Oh, we're going to save fuel. Okay, I can, yeah, you're saving pounds and things like that, but rest assured, you're, that extra, all they're going to do is turn that around to, to more 
a cargo they can take on at a, at a higher price. You know, so the, like, yeah, that's what airlines do anyway. You know, they're, they're gonna. Well, you know, you know, the airlines do really crazy things when it comes to that crap. You know, I, I love the fact that the bomb bins that would make it impossible for a luggage bomb to blow up an airliner. You know, they said, oh, we can't justify those because they weigh too much. Yet we can justify the entertainment systems that weigh twice as much. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, that doesn't make any damn sense. Uh, <laughs> it's like, yeah. So that, yeah, that's my bottom line, is that, yes, uh, there can be a tablet made comparable to the iPad that is one ninety nine and make a profit. Not as much as what Apple's making, and Apple will probably uh, enjoy uh, these profit margins for a while. Well, but it's it, not it, uh, personally... But the, the, now, I will say, it will be unfair for analysts to start pouncing when... Apple does reduce its prices and the profit margins drop. Because, look, that's a good thing that normalizes the prices and I think that makes things more fair, more marginal uh, for consumers and more realistic for that kind of device. Uh, and, okay, I agree with that, but I have a question to ask here. As somebody who sits at least partly in the Apple camp, I think you're, I think you're progressively coming to our side, but <laughs> uh, as somebody who at least sits partly in the Apple camp, will you explain to me why the Apple camp stands up and, and basically holds up these profit margin numbers? Because basically, like you say, what they're holding up is going... Apple raped me on price, and it's a good thing. Why? Why do they do that? Because, <laughs> I mean, when they're, when they're stating that, they're saying Apple overcharged me, and that's what makes them great. And I'm like, eh. so wait a minute. They ripped you off, and you're happy about it. <laughs> I know. And that was very concise. I... Like, you're celebrating that they ripped you off. I'm like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I... <laughs> yeah, Amazon, I know, will do things to try to get people in. They will say, okay, we're not going to get as much profit for this. We're not going to get as much profit for this for consumer loyalty and other programs. I think they do good at that. But the, the biggest reason why their, their profits are down is they spent a lot of money. They gave away a lot, especially coming up, ramping up in the holiday season. But it's not the Kindle Fire guys. And y'all can y'all can scream until the cows come home, but it ain't it. You're just going to have to live with... Well, uh, and honestly, I think some of those stories have been written just for buzz views, because they're both hot search terms right now. So. Yeah. Hey. But that's my, that was, that was my, that was my piece. 